Hello everyone and thank you for coming. Welcome to today's webinar. We're going to be talking about uh, IFTA. I'm your hostess, uh, Christy. I am a TrekLogix support expert. Uh, been with TrekLogix for a couple of years now. Uh, you should probably have called in a couple of times and gotten either William or myself. Uh, so we're very passionate about helping you guys uh, manage your business to the fullest. Um, and also this month, we are kicking off this webinar because of if the deadline, which is April 30th. So simplifying your IFTA reporting with TruckLogix. There are two uh, options with TruckLogix. The full TMS, which is the one that we do recommend because it gives you more functionality uh, with the, your IFTA reporting. And then we have IFTA only. We're going to touch base on a few things today. We're going to talk about what is IFTA, how to get started in your account, the data entry methods that you can choose from are quick entry, which is manual entering, dispatches, bulk upload, and then ELD imports. And as always, we'll have a short Q&A at the end. So I do ask that you hold all your questions until the end. And remain, remember that all your questions need to be on the topic of the webinar. If they're support related, we can address those uh, when we conclude the webinar and you can give us a call or uh, shoot us an email. So what is IFTA? IFTA is the fuel the International Fuel Tax Agreement. It is a tax collection agreement by and among the 48 contingent states uh, 40 and the 10 Canadian provinces bordering the, the United States. It streamlines the fuel tax payment process. And they did this because used to the states, each individual states made you file with them. Now you just file with your base jurisdiction so that you have one tax return filed each quarter and one tax payment or refund per quarter. And all of that is done through your base jurisdiction and they, they just divide it up among the, the other states. So let's get started and I'll show you a few things in uh, TrackLogix to generate that IFTA report. Okay, so here is the TrekLogix landing dashboard. If you're a full TMS user, you, uh, client, you know that the dashboard has recently changed. This is part of our upgrades that we provided this year. And this orange title bar here is what we call the modules. We're going to click on the IFTA module. And to get started filing for your IFTA for the quarter that you're going to file for, like I said, this quarter, first quarter is due April 30th. You do have the options to file for previous quarters and previous years with this drop down menu. But today we're going to start with the uh, first quarter this year. So we'll, you will need to each time you want to file your IFTA with the full TMS or the, if the only option, you will need to go into the system and click get started. This is going to pull up the trucks that you want to select to file for. Within our truck, we have a couple of trucks and we have a motive truck. So let's let's select our trucks. We need to file for all of our trucks. And you would click next. Then you're given the option of how you want to pull this data. Here's where we're going to talk about each one of these methods. First of all, we'll start off with quick entry. Quick entry, you enter the distance and the fuel data manually for each truck selected. So we'll start with this one and we'll continue. This brings you to the back to your trucks. And if this is the first time that you're entering data for this truck, you're under the action, you're going to say add. 
it'll open up to what looks like a trip sheet. If you've used TruckLogic's trip sheets in your dispatches, you should know that this looks very similar to that. You see your unit number here, the three months of the quarter that you're going to be filing for, and you see the odometer, which will allow you to enter the beginning and the ending odometer, and the system will calculate the distance for you. Or you can just click distance and you can enter that grand total of distance per state. The trip dates are automatically filled out for you. If you have a date that you didn't have fuel or mileage for, you simply just skip it. and There's no need to worry about trying to delete it. If you had a date that you need an additional day for, so you would click plus and it'll give you two dates for that. So we went through North Carolina and South Carolina that day. So that's how you would enter that. You'll select the state from the drop down. We're going to start with South Carolina. You're going to enter the total mileage, or I mean the total distance that you drove. If you have non taxable distance, you'll enter it as well. And then the total mileage, if you have that, and the system will adjust those. And see, now you see the non toll miles changed a little bit. So if you had a toll mile, let's put two toll, mi to toll miles. The system automatically updates this for you, but your total distance would remain the same. Then you're going to enter your fuel purchased. And you'll do that for each day and each state that you had. So we'll, now we're going to do for, let's just say North Carolina. We're going to enter the distance again. Our total fuel. And it automatically saves it. All changes are saved. So if this is the uh, all the information that you need for this truck, you have a couple of options that you can do. The easiest is to just simply go to the drop down menu and change it to the next truck. or you can go to next which will bring you back to your your page where your trucks were listed and you can see the data that we've already entered so then we would you would repeat that for each one of your trucks so that is how the quick entry method is entered so let's go back to our, selecting our trucks and we're going to talk about a different entry method the bulk upload. The bulk upload requires you to download one of our two templates. You have the entire trip details, meaning your city and your state, uh, or you just have distance and fuel only, but you must download these templates and use our template. Do not rename it. Do not make any changes. If there is a drop down tab within the template, use the drop down meaning don't, if there's a drop down and don't type information into that field. Don't change the width of the columns, the, no changes, zero changes. And then when you come back, you can drag here, you select your file. We'll simply, we'll quickly do one. So we're gonna download our template. You'll access your template. You may have to do it in Google uh, Sheets if you don't have Excel. And that's what our system is telling us. So we can, but you would be able to go if you had Google uh, Sheets and open up it, the template and upload your data in there, not upload your data, enter your data, and then come back and upload here. 
and then you would continue through the form and that the system would pull that data that's available that you entered into the system. So one moment and I'll get you that Google Sheet. I'm gonna pause the screen. And this is what the template would look like. You would enter your data here on the fuel and distance tab. You would type in the truck number. And here's what I was explaining. If it has a drop down, use the drop down. So we're gonna enter South Carolina, our total distance. It's just like entering the data on the fuel the trip sheets for data uh, manual entry. And then 100 fuel gallons. And we'll put our truck number, which for this one, we'll just use CC01. Then you'll go to your file, download it as a Microsoft file. And we'll go back to truck logics. And here's where you'll select your file, upload successful, and you're going to upload the file. Previous data will be deleted. This means that the previous data that we entered as a quick entry method. It, the system is going to delete that and enter this new information. For this presentation, this is fine. So we're gonna proceed. And you'll see the entries that I entered on the template are now here to generate your IFTA report. Continue to import. It'll tell me how many records were on the file, how many were successful and how many failed. You can export uh, the errors and correct them and then come back and upload the file again. So for now, we're gonna continue. And now you see that that file is uploaded for this truck. You do have an edit option here. If you've made a mistake on the gallons, you would need to click the edit and it should have been 101 my, uh, gallons and you can update that information and the system automatically updates. So once you're completely satisfied with your IFTA data, you can click next and next. And then it's gonna go through all of the previous questions that we've asked about, is this correct? But for now, we're gonna select a different data entry method and review it. So we reviewed quick entry, bulk upload, and here's why we, re we recommend the TruckLogix T full TMS, because this one here, if you've used TruckLogix to its fullest, meaning you've generated your trip sheets, you've entered your fuel by either importing it from EFS or by having your drivers add the fuel in the field or your office manager has manually added your fuel, if it's in the truck logic system, this is where you're going to love us. We're going to continue here. And you can see that the system has already pulled my data from my trip sheets and where I've for these trucks that I have. For instance, if you've uh, got a different data source that you need to change. Let's say you had, we're gonna cover this again when we go over the ELDs, but let's say you had your distance only in TruckLogix, you would select TruckLogix. If you had your mot motive it for fuel, you would select motive. But since this truck is only a TruckLogix truck, those options aren't available. So let's go back and let's review our trucks again.
And when I say your trip sheets on your dispatches, I'm gonna quickly show you what I mean so that you have a better understanding. You open up the dispatch that you're on and there's a tab here that says trip sheets. If you're gonna allow the TruckLogic systems to generate your IFTA report or pull the data for your report, you would need to have the trip sheets on every dispatch and your expenses, you should have your fuel. So fuel should be listed here as expenses. Either by a fuel card or credit card, however you paid, it'll show, but these list the fuel expenses. If it's if your fuel expenses are in your account, expense transactions, and your dispatches have the trip sheets filled out, when you go to click generate your IFTA report with Truck Logics, it'll automatically pull it. So now let's talk about the ELDs. We're integrated with two ELDs. We have Motive integration and Sansera integration. They both work the same way. It's just that you're gonna log into Motive to pull that data or you're gonna log into Sansera to pull that data. So for this webinar, we're just going to go over and demonstrate Motive. So we see that our trucks are listed any truck that is truck logics, meaning you have it here in your truck zone, it's going to be denoted by a TL. If it's a motive, it's going to be an M. Sam Sarah will have a little owl icon. So we're going to select our trucks, click next, and we're going to pull data from motive. Now, if your motive account allows you to have both your mileage and your fuel in it, that would be your, uh, your, your, you're done. Because once you make that connection, here it probably would have a pop-up in the corner asking you to have enter your credentials. If it does that, enter your credentials and hit next. Um, but typically, if you have it integrated already in the integrations here, it's it, it'll it'll do like ours here today and just take you to the next. So you'll see that with our motive vehicle, we don't have any data pulling from motive. That's okay. We can help, we can help the system. We can change how we want to pull that data. And this is what I was explaining earlier. If you have data for this truck in truck logics, you can change it here to pull your distance or your fuel so let's pull our distance from Motive and our fuel from Truck Logics and save and continue. Now you see that the data that was in Truck Logics has pulled. We still don't have any mileage because our truck didn't travel anywhere. Uh, we filled up and parked that quarter. So that's okay. Again, if you need to make an edit to the gallons and you think that the gallons is off by a little bit, you can hit edit and change it. So once you're some completely satisfied with how your IFTA looks, regardless of the method that you choose, we're gonna process this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and generate our report you are get an IFTA summary, and this is just an overview. Typically, these miles per gallon here, you want yours to be within five and 10. If you are getting IFTA bills that are huge in price and your miles per gallon are really low or really high or it doesn't, that may be something you want to go back and double check. You might have mistyped, typed a zero, or um, but we do always recommend that you check that. So for today, we'll just leave this here. We know that our miles per gallon aren't correct because we didn't travel anywhere, and that's okay. Sometimes you have to generate a zero return. And here's what we're talking about that. So you're gonna be given a few questions to review. A no operation. No operation means that you didn't travel. 
And with IFTA, if you've got an IFTA account that is active, you must file for every quarter until your, your uh, IFTA license have been canceled. So if I got my IFTA in January, I've got to file four quarters. Even if I didn't travel anywhere, I have to call put a no operation. And then you would change this to yes and letting them know, yes, I have a zero operation. But since we have data to report, we're going to leave it as no. So you've already filed your IFTA and something you need to make some type of a correction. Uh, you need to amend it with your base jurisdiction. You would answer, if this were an amended return, you would answer yes to this. This lets the state know that it is a correction so that they can look for your other one and, and make the correction. If this is your final report, you're closing your IFTA and canceling your IFTA license, you would answer yes here. But since none of these questions apply to us today, we're gonna leave everything as a no. And you do not have to, uh, print and e file it most of the time, your jurisdiction requires you to e-file it. And here is where our credit is gonna be applied. Anything in parentheses is a credit. Uh, and typically those jurisdictions allow you just to carry it forward. Um, I have received some reports that some jurisdictions wait until it's a certain amount to mail you a check. But if that is the case, you would need to double check with your base jurisdiction on your refunds or credits. So, but we're going to carry our credit forward. And another benefit of having the full TMS is we do our little audit summary. We do that with the IFTA only as well. This is not a guarantee of accuracy. This is a guarantee that the data that you entered was entered in the fields that require that data to be entered. So this is telling you that the, our disclaimer. So you'll click next. With the full TMS, if the generation is included, that's why we highly recommend our full TMS. It is an all-in-one from A to Z uh, trucking management software. And then you'll download the form. And like I said, South Carolina, South Carolina, you can log into your South Carolina's DMV portal, copy the data over to their website, pay or have your credit applied to your account, and you're done. We do all the hard calculations for you, so you don't have to worry about any of that. For IFTA only, if you're using an IFTA only account, once before you can download the form, you would need to pay $24.95 to generate that report. And like I said, the full TMS that's included with your monthly subscription or your annual uh, subscription, you don't need to worry about that. So that are that is how if the within TruckLogix is generated. Uh, that is our four methods. The ELD, whether it's Motive or Samsara, they pull the data or the same. So now we have a brief question and answer time. If you have any questions, go ahead and type those in and I will do my best to answer those. If it's something specifically related to your IFTA or a problem with your IFTA, we do re request that you wait and give me a call when um, for support or give us an email and then we'll address that at a later time. All right, I don't see any questions coming through, so that means I did a great job. So uh, if you don't already have a TruckLogix account, head on over to trucklogix.com and start your free seven day trial today. Um, I, I don't know any of the easier way to do your IFTA and manage your business all in one step. And as always, you can get in touch with us at 704-234-6946. You can email us at support at trucklogix.com. We are locally based here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. 
And as always, follow us on all of our socials, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, X, and YouTube. We have a lot of tutorials on YouTube that teach you about not only IFTA, but the software. Uh, so I, yeah, I thought I saw a question, but I don't. Okay, so again, thank you guys for coming in and joining the webinar. I hope you have a great day. Bye.